Gellum's musket manual was written for smoothbore muskets. With a lack of accuracy and incredibly short range, bayonets were a regular part of the drill. The manual is designed to have them on most of the time. In our case in living history, we more often work with the bayonets in the scabbards, so we've set the presentation up around that. Given that, let's start at shoulder arms and learn to fix the bayonet. Fix the bayonet. Two. Three. Shoulder, arms. Two, three. Fix, bayonet. There are three motions. First, drop the piece by fully extending your left arm. Seize the musket with your right hand above and near the lower band. Two. Next, drop the piece with your right hand. When you do this, let it slide along your left thigh. Grab the weapon with your left hand above the right, extend your left arm and gently rest the butt on the ground. Reach between you and the musket with your right hand and grasp the bayonet by the socket and shank. Do this so the lower end of the socket, as it sits on the musket, extends about an inch beyond the heel of your palm. Three. Draw the bayonet from the scabbard. Turn it and fix or attach it on the muzzle, turning the clasp toward the body with the right thumb. Want an easy way for the bayonet to fix quickly? When you put it on the muzzle, make sure the flat of the blade is opposite the ramrod and it will slide efficiently into place. When that's done, place your little finger on the head of the rammer, lower your left hand along the barrel without deranging your shoulder posture. Shoulder, arms. There are also three motions here. First, raise the piece with your left hand along your left side. Stop when the hand is at the height of the chin. Keep the barrel to the front. At the same time, drop your right hand to seize the piece a little above the handle. When you do this, your forefinger will touch the cock or hammer with your thumb where the counterplate would be. Two. Next, keep raising the piece with your right hand. As you do this, drop the left and place it under the butt. Guide the piece with the right hand against the shoulder into the position prescribed for shoulder arms. End this motion with your right hand resting on but not holding the piece. Three. Finally, drop your right hand by your side. Unfix bayonet. Two, three. Shoulder, arms. Two, three. Fix, bayonet. Two, three. Unfix, bayonet. There are three motions here. The good news is many of the motions you just learned are common with these, so you don't need to learn more. First, drop the piece by fully extending your left arm. Seize the musket with the right hand above and near the lower band. Two. Next, drop the piece with your right hand. When you do this, let it slide along your left thigh. Grab the weapon with the left hand above the right. Extend your left arm and gently rest the butt on the ground. As it lands, move your right hand to the bayonet. Use your thumb to release the clasp. Three. Last, remove the bayonet and return it to the scabbard. End by placing your little finger on the butt of the rammer and lower your left hand along the barrel to the arm's full length. Shoulder, arms. These are exactly the same motions for returning to shoulder from fixing bayonet. First, raise the piece with your left hand along your left side. Stop when that hand is at the height of the chin with your forearm touching the piece. Keep the barrel to the front. At the same time, drop your right hand to seize the piece a little above the handle. When you do this, your forefinger will touch the cock or hammer with your thumb where the counterplate would be. Two. Next, keep raising the piece with your right hand. As you do this, drop the left and place it under the butt. Guide the piece with the right hand against the shoulder into the position prescribed for shoulder arms. End this motion with your right hand resting on, but not holding the piece. Three. Finally, drop your right hand by your side. Let's review before we move on. We will remove counting motions in this review. Fix, bayonet. Shoulder, arms. Unfix, bayonet. Shoulder, arms. Order, arms. Fix, bayonet. 
As in other parts of the manual, Gillum wrote this to use drill you learned elsewhere. In this case, fixed bayonet from order shares drill with inspection of arms. It's done in three motions. First, face to the right one and a half times on the left heel, carrying the right foot perpendicularly to the rear of the alignment, about six inches from and at right angles with the left foot. As you turn, grab the musket with your left hand slightly above the middle band. Lean the musket to the rear, but don't move the heel of the butt. As you do this, turn the ramrod toward your body. Move your right hand to the bayonet. Grab it by the socket and shank so the socket extends about an inch beyond the heel of your palm. Two. Now, draw the bayonet from the scabbard and fix it on the muzzle. Three. For the third motion, face back to the front and retake the position of order arms. A strict reading of Gillum shows no drill written to unfix the bayonet from order arms. We won't make the drill up and teach it here. Let's review. Fix bayonet. Shoulder, arms. Unfix bayonet. Shoulder, arms. Order, arms. Fix bayonet. Shoulder, arms. Charge, bayonet. Two. Shoulder, arms. Two. Charge, bayonet. Begin the first of two motions by making a half face to the right. Your left toe points forward. Place your right foot so it's hollow as three inches directly behind your left heel. As you do this, Turn the piece with your left hand so the lock faces outward. At the same time, seize it at the small of the stock with your right hand. The musket ends up perpendicular to the ground and detached from the shoulder. Your left hand remains under the butt. Two. Now, lower the piece with your right hand. Let it fall and catch it with your left just beyond the lower band. As the musket lands, the barrel will be up and your left elbow near the body. End with your right hand against the hip and the point of the bayonet as high as the eye. Shoulder, arms. Begin by facing front and turning your feet back to the position of attention. At the same time, move the musket to the position of shoulder arms and place your left hand under the butt. Two. Drop your right hand by your side. Let's review this without motions. Charge, bayonet. Shoulder, arms. 